Hi, this is a video for you students to walk you through on the stepwise guide on how you can successfully upload your completed projects, uh, seminar submission on the project administration system. You have your system right in front of you and you locate any of the browsers you have on the system preferably a Google Chrome, such as this, and you go to the address bar. And on the address bar, you put in the URL, that is the web address, where you'll be able to perform the exercise. And so, on the address bar, I put in the address, which is https colon double backslash my learning space dot nou edu2.net. I hit the enter key. This is what will come up. You will have a page such as this requesting you to log in, requesting for your username and your password. Your matric number is your default username and you use the same matric number as your password. NOU141 blah 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 Whatever your matric number is, is what you use as your username, also as your password. And the next thing you do, just right below the password, is login. So you click log in. And as you click on login, yes, you have a page as this showing, welcoming you. This is the name of the student. And you can see the date is Thursday. It gives you your student details. You can see your faculty, the program you have, and your status as a student. There are various other things on this my learning space, but for this purpose, for the purpose of this recording, we are concerned with final year projects. And that is why it's called a completed project. So under the final year project, I can see submit projects seminar practicum etc so i just click on this my clicking on this ask me to log in again it is very very normal for this to come up so don't be bothered how many times do i have to log in it is just for security reasons so i log in again with my matric number and of course with my password which is also my matric number and I now click on the submit button for me to gain access to the project administration system. Now you are welcome to the National Open University of Nigeria's project administration system pass. If you look closely on the screen you have the basic navigation and you also have the view and edit submission. Also, it said you are logged in via this, and this is you. It shows your matric number, and if you come to the top right-hand corner here, you also see your matric number, showing that, yes, you are actually a pass platform. Now, what is the next thing to do? The next thing to do is to go to the basic navigation, and under the basic navigation, you click on add a project submission and mind you you must have your project already saved in a particular location on your system now when you come here all you have to do next is you have you know your project title so you can just impute the project title here and this is the final topic that has been approved by your supervisor take note you impute the final topic that has been approved by your supervisor here and you also enter the date you can you can manipulate this date but it's just taking the default date which is today so you can impute the date the project title or topic was also approved by your supervisor now in here you put in your matric number it's auto complete once you just keep typing because you have a very no large number of students, so it might take some time to pop up, but oh, here you are. So 
you select your matric number and of course you know the your course and mind you take note that all the asterisks all this everywhere you see, you see this red red asterisk shows that you must supply whatever is being required of you without which you, the process will not be completed so what is the course you, you don't need to doubt just click on the drop down it shows you all the various courses for project and you can you can patiently look for yours for this student it is acc450 the correct code of the project registration must be selected otherwise the submission will be invalid if you are in doubt of what your project code is please ensure you clarify that before coming here to upload now the next thing is you select your department yeah, the department of this student is financial studies the program is bsc accounting the study center is a learning study center now very caution here that your study center audience depicts your actual or your correct study center the implication of not having your correct study center here is that your work will not be completed by the study center personnel they will not be able to see your submission to complete because there's another leg of this submission which will be completed by the study center personnel so ensure that this is your correct study center and if not escalate now you now go on to the project supervisor by just imputing the name it comes down and you can select the name of your supervisor from the drop that i've just selected one where the project level of course since it's acc 405 bsc is undergraduate now we are getting to the heart of the of the process it says soft copy of project before you go ahead ensure that the file size is not it is not more than 15 mb you can just right click on your file and go to properties to check the size of the the file you want to upload and also the types of file that will be accepted is the doc pdf and the text file so now and you must have saved it in a particular location so i will now click on choose file choose file is asking me where 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 is the project so i can just select this or i can just select this and or let me pick a word document and say you click on open and you can see step is there then the next thing you do is to click on upload you click on upload and once you have clicked on upload it goes in straight into the system and just in a few minutes depending on the speed of your internet oh you can see it it is already there and it tells me that the size is 1.7 you don't need to bother all you have to do is you have something here to show that yes you have successfully uploaded and the next thing you do well you can preview by clicking on the preview just to see what you have done or better you can see this is oh, don't bother about all this but this is just to show you what you have done you can see academic here is this this is a project title your department the day the tool was approved everything you imputed you can see a short preview of it so what next can you do you can just go back and say save if we can't clicking on the save button you have not actually finished this important process that you are doing so clicking on save now ensures that everything you have done is saved onto the system good good and you can see the feedback message that comes up project submission this is the project title for this matric number has been created which shows yes all what you have done you can see everything is here and if for whatever reason oh 
yeah, I made a mistake in the supervisor. This is not supposed to be a supervisor. Or I made a mistake. Oh, they seem to have a similar name or anything whatsoever. You can hit the edit button right here and go back to that particular place and make your changes. And once you are done with the changes, you go back and say save so that the changes you have made is properly effected. So with this, you have successfully uploaded your completed project. You can visit the view and edit sections and click on my project submission to add this is to also show if truly what you have done is already captured in the system. So when you click on my project submission, you can see what have you submitted. This is it. It was submitted by this on so so date at what time. And this is the title. This once you click on this, it's an hyperlink. It takes you back to the page you are coming from. So remember, it has to be a completed project. And what you have learned in this video is how you can upload your project. You log in through my learning space and you click on submit project. Of course, it will ask you to log in again. You put in your details again and you go to the basic navigation where you have had a project seminar or teaching practice and you click on project. You make sure you fill in the form that comes in front of you and you click on save. With that, you have successfully saved your project. And I hope this helps. Have any issue, you can contact your study center director, your, your study center personnel, or you send an email to lcms at noun.edu.ng for prompt and quick response. Thank you.